Hello, Taurus. Venus is conjunct Neptune on the 1st, and your ruling planet of Venus is currently transiting through the sign of Pisces to ingress into Aries on the 21st of February. Now let's see how your ruling planet of Venus affects you this month. Taurus, I'm Pastor Rosemary. Thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Taurus angel Asmodel who resides over your fixed earth nature and these are his messages for you in love, money and health. First, Asmodel's love transmission, always the most important. Now because you're going to have your ruling planet transit through Pisces and into Aries on the 21st, this is going to change your emotional home-based sensibilities. The way that you deal with your romantic home life or you know, your spousal relationships or your family. Because when Venus is in Pisces, you believe in your family and you believe in your relationship and there's more of a peaceful attribute and you're in a little bit more of a malleable situation. However, on the 21st, when Venus ingresses into Aries, then you're going to begin to feel a bit more feisty, shall we say? Your will will come up, your iron will. A little more, you know, right back at you kind of mentality. And, it, you know, Mars is the bringer of war. And wars can be fought in a way that makes you feel healthy, or they can be fought in a way that destroys everything. So simply understand that you're going to become a little more combative in your home situations or in your familial or spousal situations beginning the 21st because of Venus in ingress into Aries, which is ruled by Mars. Okay? So just understand that. So it's going to make you, again, you don't have to become combative. You can simply become, uh, in a friendly way, competitive. Something like that. It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It, it actually will be good for you because it's things have been, you know, too much water and too much earth makes too much mud. And sometimes you need a little fire to get things going, a little latent heat. Not too much of that either, but you understand. Now let's look at how the rest of this month is going to shape up in matters of love. On the first, with Venus conjunct Neptune, you'll be getting along well with people who are Pisces individuals. Okay? And you're going to have opportunities uh, a lot this month with Scorpio and Aries in love. Towards the end of the month, around the 24th, you'll have more opportunities in love with Capricorn and Aquarius. Now, if you're not in a situation where you want a romantic uh, interlude, if you're already in a proper relationship, then of course these are opportunities for friendships or to get along better with family. On the 3rd, there's a full snow moon in Leo. From the 3rd to the 6th, Leos are going to be a little kooky, so just understand that. And it'll be kind of fun for you, uh, you know, so just, it, it won't really be anything uh, confrontational, just, just a little fun. Now, on the 6th, the moon opposes Venus. And when the moon opposes Venus, your ruling planet, then what you feel comfortable with, and what you feel comfortable with financially becomes in opposition to what you emotionally feel like you want to do. And as we know, emotions are changeable, like the moon. On the 8th, Venus sextile Pluto. Now this is going to put you into a good aspect with Scorpio. A very powerful combination. On the 18th to the 19th, there's a new moon in Pisces. And this new moon in Pisces 
is going to make Pisces individuals, especially people with their moon in Pisces, or people with strong cancer aspects in their chart that's ruled by the moon, those people, it's going to make them feel empty and they don't know what they believe in. So someone like yourself who has more firm footing in what you have rather than what you believe, but what you actually have, they're going to feel comfortable with you. They're going to come running to you because they need your strength and your secure fixed earth aspects. You understand? On the 22nd, Venus conjunct Mars. Now, re remember on the 21st, Venus transit it ingresses into Aries, which is ruled by Mars. And on the 22nd, the day after, Venus conjunct Mars. So again, this is a pretty good aspect where your right and left brain start to get along. And, and you know, the Venus and Mars or Venusian fairness and martial unfairness through forced, you know, through law or, or actually just plain brute force come into a better alignment. And here we have more compassionate justice kind of thing. Or if, people, if there can be such a thing as a fair contest, a fair contest. So that's, you know, and this is in matters of love. Because love can get, you know, nasty sometimes. You understand. Now, Venus trying Saturn on the 24th. That's a good time for you and people who are uh, have strong aspects in either Aquarius or Capricorn. So... Love, a lot of people will be coming to you more, especially after the 21st. If you've been feeling a bit like a wet noodle or wet rag that's been thrown to the side, if, you know, that's because of Venus and Pisces, a lot of yin aspects. There's more yang aspect, to be more blunt, more yang aspects, more fire, more heat, starting the 21st. But don't get combative and confrontational. A little friendly jousting is fine, but keep it friendly. Okay, now regarding Asmodel's money transmission for you, Taurus, opportunities are going to arise for you in financial matters more towards the end of the month. After these fiery aspects come more into, you know, get to put a little fire in your belly, okay? You'll feel a little better. You'll feel a little bit more feisty again. And in, in financial matters, uh, that is usually ruled by Saturn and Venus. The, these things will be very good because Venus is trying Saturn on the 24th. And with those martial aspects activated again, you're going to feel better. You're going to feel more like getting into some business situation then when you really might not feel so much like that the earlier parts of this month. So again, that's on the 24th for your opportunities in business. As far as your health transmission, Asmodel's health transmission for you, Taurus, the angel Asmodel has for you that you are going to have a beginning of healing aspects, but more of a yin nature. The first part of the month, especially on the first, when Venus, of course, is conjunct Neptune, such a watery aspect, Poseidon, okay? So you're going to have a beginning of, of healing on the 1st. On the 6th, you're going to have a setback. 6th of February, because the moon opposes Venus. So understand that setbacks aren't always a negative thing. We all think that, that setbacks are negative. But actually, sometimes a setback is just a moment to collect oneself so that one can continue and reorganize and then move forward in a much better way. And if people understand that, everybody involved in healing, both the practitioners and, and the patient, then people can, you know, no matter what modality you're involved in, whether it's Ayurvedic or allopathic or naturopathic, no matter what it is, or if you're just using uh, your own healing, inner healing abilities, which we all have, 
if you understand that, then healing is absolute. Healing becomes absolute when you're certain of it. And when you're in doubt, that's when things are, can fluctuate. Now, some people want to doubt and have a double mind. And what causes that? What causes that is fear of commitment. All diseases have an emotional bias that can be simply changed. Uh, things like um, amniotrophic lateral sclerosis and things like that can be healed. According to Louise Hay's book, Heal Your Body, uh, published by Hay House, that can be uh, healed by uh, simply wanting to grow up. You know, being under the same scrutiny as everyone, because people who are overprotected and never grow up tend to get those kind of disabling situations. And these are karmic, obviously. So they follow a person from lifetime to lifetime, obviously. And it's, again, there's no judgment in these things, but there are ways to fix it. And when you want something fixed, it will either show up via a miracle or it will show up via science. And where does a miracle and science converge? In the black box, of course, with the, with the cat where anything can happen and every single science has this black box, this chaos area where, I don't know, so a miracle happens and then this molecule does this and this a subatomic particle does that and yada, yada, yada. Okay? So that's how that goes. On the 6th, again, a setback in healing. On the 24th, you will have great healing because Venus, Trine, Saturn, bet on it. Okay. But you you probably um, have to make sure that you have releasing in the cervical vertebrae area and the lumbar vertebrae if you really want healing energies to come through. So you might want to talk to a chiropractor or an acupuncturist that can help you deal with your kidney meridians and help you deal with meridians that go to your throat chakra. All right? and the thyroid and those kinds of things. Okay, now for your little afterglow of just highlights of this month. Remember, Venus is in Pisces until the 20th with an ingress into Aries on the 21st. On the 1st, there's a Venus conjunct Neptune. On the 3rd, a full snow moon in Leo. On the 6th, moon opposing Venus. On the 8th, Venus sextile Pluto. On the 18th and 19th, a new moon in Pisces. On the 22nd, Venus conjunct Mars. And on the 24th, Venus trine Saturn. Now, the inconstant moon or the variable sundry moon with all her moods. On the 11th, the moon is trine Venus. On the 14th, Luna is square Venus. On the 16th, Luna is sextile Venus. On the 25th, Luna is conjunct Venus. And on the 28th, the Moon is square Venus. Okay, that is your angelic horoscope transmission from your angel Asmodel Taurus. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pastor Rosemary. Join us again next month.